Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Lyco Birds with another spring warbler warm up video, and this one is going to cover yellow warbler. In the spring, they are mostly bright yellow overall, and the bright birds are pretty distinctive. They're pretty much just completely yellow, and uh, that includes the undertail and the undertail coverts. And the combination of those two features is diagnostic to yellow warbler, even on the drab birds. Uh, the brightest ones typically have red streaking on the underside, which is about the only non-yellow part of the plumage for the subspecies that you would expect to see in the northeastern U.S., which is the, the target area of this video series. But occasionally you'll see an individual with um, maybe just a little bit of a hint of red on the head. The drab ones can be a little bit trickier than the bright ones, uh, but you don't really see those in the spring. And I did a whole video about the drab yellow warblers that you would see in the fall. So I'm not going to cover that again here. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description and I'll put it on the end screen as well. So if we compare to other species, we'll start with Wilson's warbler. Uh, these are often have a black cap or at least some amount of black uh, on the top of the head. And really they have a, a very different build. Um, they're just a lot smaller birds. Uh, and when you see them in person, that's usually pretty apparent. Uh, I can usually tell just um, from the, the, from a brief glimpse of the structure uh, that, that I could potentially be looking at a Wilson's warbler. And they also have a dark undertail. And remember that yellow warblers have a yellow undertail. And prothonotary warbler, they have uh, definitely more of a white color as you get into the belly and the undertail coverts. And they also have a lot more contrast in the wings that are a lot darker and yellow warbler typically will have at least uh, yellow edging on these feathers here that gives the, the wings a lot more of a yellow look. And on pine warbler, it's pretty uh, pretty similar to prothonotary actually uh, in terms of the yellow doesn't really continue into the belly and undertail coverts. Pine warblers are usually a little less of a bright yellow as well. They're, uh, you know, they're not, they're not that that bright yellow color that, that yellow warblers are. And really the, the structure is a little bit different as well. Larger bill. Um, they shouldn't pose too much of a, an issue. And this is about as bright as they get. So, uh, And hooded warbler, another bright yellow warbler overall. But uh, the males have this really distinctive black hood. So uh, you're very unlikely to confuse those with yellow warbler. Uh, the females don't have the strong hood uh, that the males do, but usually you can see some sort of black on the head. Um, so it, it's it's not going to give the same overall yellow impression that you get on yellow warbler. And also hooded warblers have white outer tail feathers, which they will flash quite often. Um, and yellow warblers don't have white outer tail feathers. And palm warbler... Um, especially the yellow subspecies, um, the underside is yellow with red streaking. So that can be a little bit similar, but they just have a very different head pattern because you have this rufous cap and then a uh, yellow eyebrow, kind of dark cheek and then yellow throat. So uh, you just have a, a very different facial pattern compared to yellow warbler. So if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to check out the video about the drab yellow warblers, a link to that should be showing right now or look in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.